What's up, Internet? It is May 4th, which is like the International Star Wars Day, I do believe. And we are here in the town, doing town-related things. Um, I, I looked it up, and apparently, like, the uh, really tricky dragonfly is not available until July or June. So we still got, like, at least a month. But there are two fish we haven't caught yet, so maybe we'll try and get them. The uh, angelfish and the catfish. Maybe that'll be our current uh, little mission thingy. Gives us something to do. What do we have here? We have a letter from Tom Nook. Throw that away, because who needs that? And of course, it being Saturday, our pal KK Slider's here to rock out. And rock out we shall. Now, I actually do have a request. Yes, I do. We are going to listen to... Let's go pick out the, uh, proper... Song. All right, we got an air check of the K Funk. That's some funky K right there. All right, let's go slam this into our music player of choice. I was gonna say gold stereo. Although I do like KK Cruisin. It's a little bit faster pace. That's uh, still not quite as good as KK Cruising, but not bad. Hey, Pierce is here. Maybe you want to come visit. Want to come see my house? Uh, he needs nothing. He is very self sufficient. Uh, Mitzi did a thing, but we already know Mitzi did a thing. Then look at our awesome these guys and see if we got something that isn't just paperweights. We got a skull, a skull, and a paperweight. So close. 
Oh yay, someone's hosting me. Hooray for first time hosting. Let's not pick up our garbage. But we'll take the Nintendo parasol and the BB shirt. Eh, spring cleaning was okay, but I still haven't really come up with a theme or really found any more furniture or any way to set up my house in a way that I'm really happy. Alright, let's sell some stuff, Mr. Nook. Like this and this and this and this and this and that goes to Marcy, so we can go to the other town and do that. And that's a house payment or a bank deposit, one of the two things. Are we seeing anything of value here for us? There's a BB shirt, we just sold one of those. But no, nothing all that interesting. But we can always work on our big ass garden to make the world more fantabulous. Because that's important. You gotta make the world as fantabulous as you can possibly do. Because if you don't, well, what's the point? There is no point. The point is that you make the world better. And that is in and of itself a point. Alright. Some more cosmos. Alright, let's go plant some flowers. I can hear the frogs in the pond. They're happy to be in such an awesome town. Full of flowers. Got tulips. Some cosmos. Some four lips. Some pansies. And some more cosmos. Maybe Snooty has a thing for us. Uh, nothing from Snooty. She's too snooty to ask for help, hence her name. Hey, there's a weed, let's get rid of that. Goodbye, weed. Alright. Biscuit? What are you up to, Biscuit? Well, you've got a giant carpet of flowers just behind your house. They don't have to be connected to your house, they can just be behind your house. And that would be perfect. Samson, what are you doing over here? Did you come looking for me to do a thing? I will get your camera from Tangy. Oh, and since she's up, we'll talk to Emerald. Maybe she needs a thing. Maybe she needs to get rid of her fish and her crocoids. I'd be happy to take them. Or maybe she needs fashion advice. Spoilers, don't wear a shirt with your face on it. It looks conceited and weird. Biscuit does look a little limp. It's <laughs> a good joke. Hey! We got a lullaboyd. I think we already have a regular lullaboyd though, but we can go take a look. I know we're missing one. Is this the day we finally get all the lullaboids? I don't think so, but maybe. We are missing a regular lullaboyd. So we'll get rid of that tall lullaboy, which we no longer need. This one's a different color blue. Those ones are more sort of like a dark, almost purple, whereas this is more of a greeny blue. Alright, well I think you're happy there. So we are missing now one lullaboid and one crocoid. And if I want to get all the gyroids I want for that room, we also need a droploid. All one of them. 
but the point is, we are a step closer to gyroid supremacy. Alright, oh, I had to go talk to Tangy about a thing. Tangy, talk to me about a thing. Re hour. I don't think her catchphrase really works for a character. Like everyone else is like a joke based on their name or their appearance, but Tangy's doesn't make a lot of sense. It's a good room. You should all have Zen garden rooms. Gargaloid and I believe a Warbaloid. It's the boy and lady gyroids. There aren't a lot of gyroids that appear to be gendered iterations of themselves, but those ones aren't that. That's Samson's house. Oh, that's right, we have to um, deliver a thing to Marcy as well. Hey, Cookie, what are you doing all the way over here? This is so far away from your house. I will take Cube's camera. Peach muffins sound amazing. <laughs> I want some muffins. I really like muffins with like chocolate chips or just, you know, chocolate muffins. Which are basically just cupcakes. They're not remotely healthy or anything, but they're delicious. I will take this. Actually, I think the last muffin I had was, um... It was orange, but, like, it had, like, the orange zest concentrated in such a way that it worked, like, in a drizzle icing type thing over top of it. So I guess it was a type of cupcake, because, like, the difference between a muffin and a cupcake, as far as I see, is the presence of icing and the lack of anything healthy about it, but still. Wendell, he'll be here tomorrow. But no one wants to deal with Wendell. Wendell's silly. Wendell is silly walrus. Gendy's house. Not seeing any weeds. Ooh. Joyride. Joyride! A tall farmanoid. I don't care about that one. There's so many I do care about. That is not one of them. Fish. Come on, we're missing two fish. That is not one of them. That's a carp. Like carpal tunnel. But not like the fish I want. That might be one, though. Nope, that's a loach. I think the angelfish which we're missing is also a really tiny fish. Ooh, let's get rid of that. Rhoda! I was. I was very terribly busy. Oh, she doesn't need me. Uh, hey, a thing I can dig up. Maybe it's another gyroid. Needs to be a droploid. Oh, that's a fossil. Who cares? Who cares about fossils when they could be gyroids? No, I have never dislocated my jaw from yawning. <laughs> I have my jaws like make a snapping sound, but I've never dislocated it. <gasps> no, 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 no! I needed a crocoid, but that wasn't it. <sighs> Alas, I do believe that will be all the gyroids we run into. Alas. 
You need a ball, but you were inside, so I couldn't give you a ball. I remember this. It was stupid. You're stupid, Cleo. I had a ball, and you wouldn't take it, just because it was outside your door and not in your hands. That cannot be my problem. Hey, there's Samson. Oh, right, I have to give him a thing. Samson! I have this for you. Take it. Take it, take it, take it. No. I am. I'm incredibly disappointed. Why would you give me stationery? Uh, it's worthless. Okay. Well, let's, uh... Take four of these, write up letters, and sell the rest of this nonsense. And I guess we'll go to the other town, deliver that thing. And then we'll try fishing for a little bit, because there's two fish we need to get, and I guess that'll be our little mission for a while. Alright, that, and that letter is written. I'll plop that there. And pretty much everything else can be sold. Except for the thing I have to deliver to Cube. So we'll go do that. And then we will go up here to Cube's house. I can hear the frogs. They look happy. Cube! Delivery to you. Craziness. Oh, good. At least it's not more stationary. I can at least sell clothing. Maybe it's a GameCube shirt. I am a fan. I'm more of a Saturn fan anyway. I'm not gonna lose sleep over not getting a GameCube shirt. Much. Cube is like the best penguin. I think the only other penguin I really like all that much is uh, Gwen is kind of a nice little penguin, but that's about all the penguins I like. Oh, poor Crocoid. You're not the one I wanted. So you're useless to me. Oh, we made 3,000 bells. That's nothing to sneeze at. Alright. Let's go deliver this thing to Marcy. Preferably without destroying all the flowers. But while scaring cockroaches away. Excuse me. Alright, let's go to the next town. No, I want to go to the next town. Shorten your dialogue so I can just go. Stationery is one of the worst prizes you can get because you can't really write too many letters to people because the way it understands, like, writing is flawed in different ways from Sunday. So it, it's really only good for sending messages to the museum or using codes to get stuff. But you can't sell it for much and it just takes up space in your inventory. So station is like the worst price you can get from anything. Maybe we'll find something cool at Nook's shop in the new town, though. Maybe. Come on, Rover! Get over here, buddy. We need to talk to you so we can leave. I think that's one of two phones you ever see in this game. There's that, and there's the lovely phone, which you can only get during like one day of the year, if I recall. And I think we actually missed the chance to get the lovely phone, I might be wrong. I think it was for Valentine's Day, but I'm not sure. Come on, Rover! Quit blabbering away. 
We've got stuff to do. It's raining. That means gyroids will be around tomorrow. That's pretty cool. Although, this does mean that we need an umbrella. Got it covered. Okay, uh, where is Marcy at? Marcy's over there. Okay, let's go deal with that first. Oh, it's already so much dingier after I cleaned it. it almost makes you wonder what the point was. Alright, Marcy! Take this. Yes, I finally tracked you down to deliver a thing. A carpet. Unless it's a Wendell carpet, I don't care. Sahara carpet. Wendell's the wallpaper guy. Alright, well, we did that. Cookie! I, yeah, well, I don't come here every day because I don't have to clean this place up every single day now. I know Spike, but are we talking Spike or other Spike? There's two, you know. Quetzal! It's looking good in purple. I think purple's his color. Uh, he doesn't need a thing. Ooh, glowy spot. Got some bells. But not 10,000, just 1,000. Kind of a step backwards from the 10,000, but still. Umbrellas. Now Spike should be right here. And knowing Spike, he'll be in his house. Because he's a grumple. Doesn't want to ever leave his house. Spike, give me a thing. Hey. His nostrils flare every time he talks. And once you see that, you can't unsee it. Alright, let's go talk to Tangy. Everyone's favorite half animal, half person, half fruit, all entirely alien creature. He's probably not home. Okay, we're looking for Tangy. We found Tangy. I will take this back to Cookie. It is the umbrella. Alright. Time to go talk to Cookie. Cookie. Where are you? Did you leave? I think Cookie left. She left. How dare she? Cookie, I'm very angry. You left. Also, here's your thing. From Tangy. Harper. Stationary. Alright, well, I think what we'll do is we'll go look for Gulliver, because we can. Uh, we'll go take a look at the police station. And then after that, I think we'll go back to Nooks and head home and go fishing for a little bit to try and catch the fish we're missing. The missing fish. I'm seeing so many digging spots I missed here, and it's like, I don't want to deal with that mess right now. I spent so long cleaning this place, and it's already just a mess again. Oop. Nothing. Nothing. Are you here, Gulliver? I'm here to talk to you about your travels and also possibly gifts. Nothing. I wish it could rain here as well. I'm, I'm right there with you. All it does is snow here. It's snowing right now and it's sad and cold. Crazy Red's Furniture Emporium. 
Unfortunately, I don't think he sets up until 6 p.m. We don't have anything new in here. Alas. So I probably can't do anything at uh, Red's. Although, if we show up tomorrow, he should still be around. He's around for like a whole day. Starting at like 6 p.m. one day, moving to 6 p.m. the next, so... Not much we can do right now, but we can take a look tomorrow, maybe. If I remember, which I probably won't, because I'm bad at that. Pearl! I just wanted to say hi to you, my favorite cat. That's not a smelly cat. I know. Cookie. She's in my town, and she's in this my town, and there's so many cookies in my towns. I could open a cookie factory. Cookie! I'll take that camera, thank you. And while we're here... Eh, nothing new. Back to Pearl, the cat who lends her things to dogs, because she's just that trusting of dogs, which is weird for a cat to be. Oh good, more stationery. More things I can sell to Nook, and basically make nothing. Awesome. I love those wind socks, they're neat. Hey, what do we have here? We have a blue check shirt. How blue checky is it? It's very. It looks like a blue picnic blanket. But it's not what I'm looking for. And essay paper for when you want to write an essay, which I haven't had to do for a good many years, which I am very thankful for. That said, essay work is really easy. It's just, you know, basically just making some argument and then backing it up and then hitting a word count. Essays are easy. They're just time consuming more than anything. Do we have anything cool in here? Hmm. I do like these two shirts, but I'm wearing the cool shirt. It's the coolest of shirts. I do believe that is all the things right now. Ooh, we're at four lips today. How many more lips can we get? Some pansies. Cosmos. Six lips. And some pansies. Are they socks, kites, or skin villagers thanks to a cow serial killer? Well, I did notice that uh, they do look kind of sort of a little bit similar to Pierce. So maybe. Oh no, I should probably tell them to hide, if, if that's the case. I don't want to see Pierce get turned into a windsock. That would be sad. He's my favorite. Let's go home to work on our awesome garden and go fishing! Because we still need to work on our fish list. Choo choo! It's Rover, as if we had a choice. Except we don't. It's always Rover on the way back. Alright, 
let's go home. Hurry up, Rover, you're so slow. this umbrella. We do need a fishing rod if we're gonna try and catch the two fish we're missing. Right, first, we need to go work on our garden. And plant more lips. Or just drop them. That works too. Actually, I did see a type of plant where you got like a bag. And you just cut open the side of it and like you uh, pour water in and like uh, plants would grow from that. I don't remember what that was, but I remember seeing that one point and I thought it was interesting. Nothing new. Okay, so we gotta look around the river bits. Choo choo. We gotta find ourselves an angelfish. And we gotta find ourselves a catfish. That's what we're looking for. That's a good start. Got a boot. It looks like it's about a foot. Although it might be better if we went downstream because there's like three areas as opposed to two over here. I'm not sure how much of a difference that'll make, but... Awesome. I'm catching all the best fish right now. Hey, we actually got a fish this time. That's tremendous. We'll go to the next part of the river. Maybe that'll help. And that's not part of the river, but this is. Yeah, those eyes. It looks like pierced a little bit. We got a dace. Uh, this guy, he's everywhere and it makes me angry. Hey, there's candy. Candy. Catfish, where are you? It's like a cat, it's like a fish, it's like a catfish. There we go. This is our new best friend, Whiskers, the catfish. He's gonna be a celebrity at the museum. Now we just gotta find ourselves a uh, angelfish. Come on, fishing. A small base. I don't need a small base, I just need an angelfish. Ooh, let's get rid of that. That might be one. Might be a little big, but maybe. 
There it is. Oh, our fish list is presently complete. Yeah, we've made quite a lot of progress. Nine more and we've got them all. Although our bugs list could use some work significantly. Although most don't show up until like June, July. Blithers, I've got fish for you. You can take a catfish. I don't think catfish is all that run in the mill. This is the first time I've seen it. Yes, I have another fish you can have. You can have this little guy. Aw, oh, he loves it. He really is an upstanding owl. Let's take a look at the uh, fish repository since we're here. Listen to the uh, teleporter sound effect from Ocarina in the background. How many fish in this tank? I'll have to work on that. There's so many fish in this game. There's a little frog. They even animated him like uh, breathing. That's cool. There, boy, the coelacanth. Choo choo. Train knows what's up. Coelacanths are awesome. All right, it's time to go sell some stuff to Nook. All right. Ah, oh, Snooty's playing soccer. Or football. Or the thing that isn't hand egg, but also is called football. Nook, I'm here to sell some stuff to you. And you can take this trash off my hands too, that would just be super. But we still got that bank deposit, so that's nice too. We're just slowly gonna walk over. Slowly gonna walk over and down. Because there's no flowers over here yet. So we finished currently our available fish, at least until next month. That's pretty good. I think we're pretty much done bugs for the time as well. So I'm not really sure what we're going to do next. Phyllis! I like to deposit one letter. I would also like to not mail a thing, but also deposit some money. We're a stone's throw away from two million bells. That's pretty exciting. Alright, next I think we're going to go work on our daily exercise routine to the Nintendo console. I think I'm going to change that song to KK Cruise and again later. We'll play some Punch Out, because Punch Out! Someday we will win. Probably not today, but maybe. Come on, Glass Joe. What do you know? See if we can time this special this time. That's always sort of like the big thing about this guy, because if you time it right, you get an instant KO, and that's kind of a special feeling. And a time saver. Ah, a little too early. Quick 
blocking. Nope. I don't know what sometimes dictates that I'll just instantly get taken out by an uppercut or not. Because, I mean, I've got that working theory that it's tied to, um, not taking damage in between KOs, but... But, uh, I mean, we haven't taken any damage against Glass Joe, and he survived. Can we do it here? Yep. So, I don't know. Maybe he follows special logic or something. Alright. Time to fight Von Kaiser Roll with his delicious bread and awesome stash. Come on, Kaiser Roll, let's go. Oh, I think I finally got him into his uh, proper time. One. Two. Three. Sidestep, stun, knockdown. Sidestep, stun, knockdown. Got anything else, Kaiser Roll? I don't think you do. Because that's a TKO. Alright, next is the title bout against Eyebrows Magoo. Come on, eyebrows, let's see what you got. Probably nothing, I'm betting. Except from your big eyebrows. Ooh, that could be a problem. One, two, three. Because if my working theory is right, one, two, three, that means we won't be able to. Oh no! I thought I had one more star than I had. <laughs> oh, this is gonna take forever now. I miss being able to take him at one minute. <laughs> oh well. One, two, three, star punch. One, two, three, star punch. Alright, let's go, Honda. One star punch. Oh, we did take damage, so, I mean, at least our working theory kind of holds water. At least with this guy, anyway. And that's a TKO. Very messy TKO, but a TKO nonetheless. Next, we have... The password sequence of great justice. Password powers go. Time to fight the dawn. Easiest fight in the game. Let's go, Flamingo. Just gonna sidestep that, thank you. I, mean, I hope you don't mind, but I'm not gonna get hit there. 
Your aim could use some work. Seriously. You just cannot hit me. I feel sad for you. That's that. Better luck next time, Flamenco. Alright. Next is the King of the Hippos. King Hippo. See what you can do, Hippopotamus. What is big chompy mouth? Nope. No. There it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. No. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. No. It is. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's the fight. Okay, so we defeated him. Next is the inadequate tiger. Let's see what you got, tiger. Some bad card tricks, but probably not much else. Certainly not the ability to hit me. Come on. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Do it better. If you need a demonstration. There you go. I tend to dodge on that one wrong. That was entirely on me. But I think I've still got a decent amount of time to make it before his special. 39 seconds, let's see what we can do. seconds. Yep, just made by the skin of our teeth. Five, four, three, two, one, knock out. Title bout, where we bout for the title against Bald Bull. Come on, Bull. Punch. 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 I'm not scared of your little wimpy spinny punches. I'm just annoyed that I can't do a lot of damage in return for them. Cut. Up for cut. Alright, he went for a third and a fourth. Wow. I'm not used to him doing that. Normally I expect a third, but not a fourth. I'm just off my game right now. You've impressed me, Bald Bull. I don't think I'll be able to beat you in one round. Truly, that is sad. But maybe I can. Just depends on how I time a thing. Twenty seconds. And then he'll do it 
again in 25 seconds. So it's just a matter of waiting and hoping I time it right. Wow, we are going into round two. It's called Bolt. Oh, he's going into Spinny Punch. What? I've never seen him do that at that point. That's interesting. I gotta say, that came out of nowhere. I'm sure I'll be able to beat him, honestly, but we'll see what we can do. Oh, the infamous Spinny Punch I can't do a lot of damage to. Come on, Bald Bull. Do your crazy bull charge of death. No more spinny hands, please. Cut. Alright, that's two. I mean, on the bright side, if this goes to, like, a decision, I've got the points on him. But I don't think I'll be like that. I'll either get taken out or I'll take him out. Seems really unlikely it'll go to decision. Ooh, that delay. He makes you wait for it just, just to unnerve you and make you second guess the timing. But we got him. He's tricky. Alright, let's don our awesome suit for Passwords of Justice, go! Alright, Honda. Let's see if I can get your special. If I can't, this will be a real short fight one way or another. One, two, three. Twenty seconds left. Wow, I really hate that move. Come on, do your special. Late. That was way too late. Oh well. We'll get another chance. One, two, three. Way too early. I whiffed. Just hit the air in front of me. One, two. Ooh, that's a new combo I've never seen before. That was interesting. I've never seen him go from two singular punches to his uh, shifty thing. One, two. Alright. Not doing ideally, but we haven't died, so that's that's a small victory. And small victories are sometimes the only ones you get in life. Alright, Honda, let's go. One, 
two, three. Alright, that's a knockdown for us. Alright, if nothing else, we've surpassed what we need to win by decision. One, two, three. Cut. But we went for the instant anyway, because we can. And he won't get up. Alright, so now we're gonna go fight the large pink crab person, Soda Pavinsky. Let's see what you got, Soda. Wow, that ain't my input. Getting better on timing that uppercut, though. Once you dodge one, dodging the second is no problem. Could dodge that first one a little better, but still. Oh, that was late. Now he'll do that. He'll do his dance. One, two, three. Turn a couple of punches there. No. As I say, I'm getting more used to the timing on that. I completely fail. Nice try, Popinski, but I know your tricks. One, two, three. I think not. And that's one. Way late in the round, but we knocked him down. That's an interesting freeze frame right there. I'll take the heal. I almost feel like I should wait just on the off chance it goes through round three, but seeing as I've already been knocked down once, it's kind of a Hail Mary situation. The nice thing is, starting with round two, he's a lot easier. Alright, he doesn't eat your inputs like that. Dodge straight into that now do his dance. One, two, three. Uppercut. Just a little bit. Dodge there. Alright, that's a knockdown. Come on, Pop. Let's go. Uppercut. Stuck on Popinski? Will we prevail? Let's find out. One, two, three. Well, that was an interesting return. Didn't let me combo him. Right, that's another knockdown. But that's not enough. We are going to a round three if he doesn't take me out instantly. He certainly has the ability to with my low health. <laughs> well, he's straightened up pretty quick. We're both looking pretty rough. Although, honestly, he doesn't look all that beaten up. Alright, Popinski, let's see what you've got. That's another one. Come on, Popinski. I know you can do better. You can take me. There, he has no health. I the disparity between like getting up 
turning around to and getting up and around through hit this guy's kind of amazing. It's like, uh, we'll just give him full health. Uh, we'll give him no health. Alright, Popinski, let's try again. You can start with your little flashy uppercut. And I'll just finish you off. Thank you and good night. Bull the second. Here's where things get scary. Spinny punch. Spinny punch. I really should have gotten hit by that. Take that star. Star punch. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take another star, thank you. Ooh. Oh no, I'm out of stars, that's the problem. I was in a prime position to take him out, and I just, I didn't take it. Crap. Take a star. And I lost it, crap. Alright, that's one knockdown. Not doing so hot. He gets up on a nine count. He's the only one who can. I'll take a star. I'll take a second star. And I'll do that to you. I might have a shot at this, actually. Come on. And that's a TKO. I think Star Punches actually do a lot more damage to this guy than most people. Alright. That was a little bit dicey, but we got through it. Alright, Don Flamenco the second. Here's where we got stopped. This is our third attempt at beating him. Let's see what we can do. gets into his second phase, it's not too bad, but his first phase is a little tricky because it feels a little random. Like that. Like, it's hard to explain, but it's sort of like fighting Popinski the first time. Like, it just... it... The timing is weird, and it eats your inputs. He doesn't even hit particularly hard, that's the frustrating thing. Come on. There we go. It's a smug looking freeze frame. I don't care. This guy needs to be punched a bunch. Yep, the referee is in fact Mario. Good call, Mr. Flamenco. Now all doubts have been erased. I've been told if you uh, swap from left to right on this guy, you can kind of chain him real long. So it's kind of advantageous to try and do it. That's one knockout. I get two more though. There it is. There it is. Oh no.
I don't think there's like a specific timing on it to get him to actually punch you either, which is annoying. It's just a matter of, you know, burn enough hearts and then he'll do something. I think he's gonna get back a little on the offensive. Which is a little tricky for me to figure out. Alright, that's a better freeze frame. <laughs> he lost his hairpiece. Alright, Flamenco. Round three. Let's see if we can do this. I think I get one revive. Oh no. And that might be it. Okay, this is our last shot. Gotta play offensively. Is he gonna get up? Yep. Oh no! I think that's it. Yep, we're not getting up. Still, we made it to round three with this guy. That means at least we're improving. Small victories. All right, and we'll do a quick little cheeky balloon fight trip. I don't know how long we'll make this, but uh, it probably won't be super long. Because I actually do have to uh, go get some dinner after this. It's our game really late. Some balloons. Woo! Oh, we need that bubble. Ruining everyone's life. I see a large window. I shall take it. And this one. And I'm not seeing much of a window anywhere. Whoa. Okay. Found that window. some dinner after this, so uh, we'll cut it here. But uh, that was trying to get all the fish in our fish library, which we have now done up to this point. Uh, as far as I know, the next one we need is for next month, so we're good for a little while. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, follow the stream and know we go live, because we do this every single day, plus other stuff when I have the time. Uh, I've got one or two things kind of planned. Hopefully I'll find the time for it. Uh, life has been really sort of hectic for me recently. Um, you might also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see over a thousand videos waiting just for you. That's how amazing tacular you are. You've got so many videos just waiting there. And if you really want to make my day, check out the shares, PayPal, or Patreon. Support the show any way you can so that I can continue to do this because, you know, it's, it's fun to do and I enjoy doing it and I hope you enjoy. Plus, you get yourself on the Discord where we can talk about awesome things like collecting all the fish and getting that one gyroid in your set that's a complete duplicate and not the one you actually wanted. <laughs> that happens. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out, Internet.